YouTube! I'm here again with another video. I keep trying to record the audio for this, but I end up rambling, and I'm not sure if that's because I'm not using a script for this, or if it's because it's nearly 3 a.m. while I'm recording this, and I might just be super, super out of it without realizing it. I don't feel tired though, so who knows? So it's been a little bit of a frustrating night for me and so I, I just decided even though I'm still in the mood to get work done, I just am too frustrated to work on the art I'm working on so I decided I could switch focus on to editing videos to post on YouTube. So here we are with this video. Uh, this was the sketch for one of the illustrations I made for the My Princess scene that I organized, uh, it's Kazuha from Period Cube. Uh, it's, a, it's a... I would still say it's a pretty good game, pretty decent. It's debatable on what what you think of the game. I, I think it's, it's people either they like the game, they enjoy the game, or they hate it, or they've read bad reviews of it, and they're like, no, never touching this. It's... it's for, su for such a harmless little game, I feel like it's gotten so much, like, differing opinions, and I don't understand why. If you don't like something, that's fine, but your personal preference doesn't determine whether a game is good or bad. But... It's whatever. It is what it is. So I drew Kazuha from Period Cube. Um, I designed the composition with like two main things in mind. Would be to focus on the logo on her chest, which is, if I remember correctly, the Arcadia logo for the MMO game, their world they're stuck in. And then the second thing that was supposed to be a, a kind of focus was behind Kazuha's head. There is a cube shape, little square. Um, I made it that way because I thought it could look like a halo behind her head. I think it, it's more obvious in the coloring video, which I don't know which is going to end up going up first, this or that. So if you see the coloring video, then you'll understand what I mean by it was supposed to look like a halo more, hopefully. And maybe you'll be able to see it in the sketch video, what I'm trying to say. Um, but I don't know, I, I'm a pretty messy sketcher. Um, so yeah, Beard Cube, pretty good game, pretty good heroine, pretty fun illustration. I, I would say uh, because I was under pressure while working on it because of a time crunch because I was like last minute realized I had calculated the page count incorrectly for printing. I was like, oh, I gotta get this done, gotta get this done. So that pressure, I feel like that, that pressure pushes, at least for me, it pushes me to work smarter, harder, I don't know. It just... It, it was a good kind of pressure, a good kind of stress, because there's a difference between like a good stress and a bad stress. And I am very aware of that difference. So yeah, let's see. I guess another aspect of the composition I could mention was uh, due to the whole thematic aspects of Period Cube, I used uh, Shiki, who's like the antagonist character, but also a main character. It's, it's weird, it's hard to explain, but it, 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 the character, he's, he's a trip, I would say. Maybe if you like those Yandere characters, you, you might enjoy his character if the other aspects to him don't completely turn you off. Uh, he was pretty good good yandere I would say but um yeah anyway I just had his hands like trying to like reveal the logo on her chest because he's like the puppet master in the game and oh shoot <laughs> but 
I mean, it was kind of obvious, but I guess that spoilers, late spoilers alert. I don't think they even, oh no, I guess they do talk about Cheeky in the beginning. Well, I just ruined the game for everyone. Sorry, it's like not like most of you are gonna play it anyway, unless you already have, and then you'd already know that Cheeky was the, the, the puppet master, the one behind the strings, but yeah, so had his hands there to be like showing off the logo on her chest and yeah just having fun drawing a cute illustration or at least I thought it was uh, someone commented saying it was a little little risque so then I'm just like oh self-conscious I, I didn't think it was that bad but uh now I'm just like, oh no. I still I still like the illustration though. It was fun to sketch. I actually I actually think the face turned out really well. I'm actually really impressed by the face. It, it's like I, I don't know even know how I drew such. So I mean I'm I can literally just see myself drawing it. So it's like I don't. I do know how I drew it, but it's just like that face to me just turned out perfect. Everything about the face turned out amazing to me. I really like the face and the eyes and this image a lot. I don't think this uh, recording process shows when I added the little cube in her eyes, but I thought that that was a perfect repetition of the like cube in the background and everything. But yeah, that. I, I don't know how it turned out so well, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. There's there's a lot to this I ended up really liking. And uh, it's kind of weird because like on one hand I do kind of like Kazuha, but on the other hand I also am kind of neutral towards her. When I was playing it in English I kind of realized uh, Kazuha had a lot of the character characteristics that I think I have that I don't really like about myself that are ki I'm kind of frustrated with myself with. Um, what were they? Okay, I just looked up some of the tweets I had written down so I could say exactly what it was. Um, basically, uh, what frustrates me about myself that was especially apparent in Kazuha during Astrum's route specifically is uh, when he told her not to hold back her feelings um, and I just I'm very much a reserved person a lot of times and I I hold back a lot and it's just like the fact that um, some ways she acted were very much like me it just made it so I couldn't necessarily be like a super huge fan of the character much as much as like uh, Fiona from Black Wolf Saga which is funny because I I felt like I could relate to Fiona in a lot of ways but I think the ways that I could relate to Fiona were probably um, I wouldn't say more positive but more like on a deeper level because I was uh, sick for like 12 years so I could relate a lot to Fiona's health problems and there was especially a line Fiona from Black Wolf Saga said that uh, she wanted to be able to say she did something that her life wouldn't be in vain basically that it was good that she lived and I, I could understand that guilt of uh, feeling like a burden when you're not like the super healthy healthy person so I think that, that would be the difference between how I formed an attachment to like Fiona versus how I'm kind of I'm kind of neutral on Kazuha. I don't think she's bad. I don't think she's like top tier favorite or by any means, but I don't think she was a bad heroine. And I think I'm out of time, so I'm gonna end it here. And that's me talking about stuff. Um well, see you next time. Bye.